When we were learning about delocalized electrons, we were introduced to the molecule benzene, which has six carbons and six hydrogens. And although we draw the structure with alternating single and double bonds, we also saw we could represent the delocalized electrons by putting a ring inside of a hexagon. There are many natural compounds which are derivatives of benzene and have that six-membered ring inside of them. Adrenaline and ephedrine are just two of these naturally occurring compounds. Other benzene derivatives has been, have been synthesized to find some uses. Overall, these compounds with a benzene ring are called aromatic compounds because many of the original compounds containing these benzene rings were found in plant and tree oils and they had very pleasant aromas. Now we use the term aromaticity to refer to certain types of structures. In order for a compound to have aromaticity, it has to have a significant amount of delocalization. The criteria for aromaticity are as follows. First, the molecule has to have an uninterrupted cyclic cloud of pi electrons. That means that they must be cyclic or in a ring, and every atom in the ring has to have a p orbital. In other words, it should be sp2 hybridized. Furthermore, the molecule should be a planar molecule. Second, the pi cloud must have an odd number of pairs of pi electrons. Let's look at some examples and try to determine if these molecules are aromatic or not. In the first molecule, we have cyclobutadiene with alternating single and double bonds in essentially a square. While all the carbons are sp2 hybridized, and it is a cyclic molecule, we have a total of four pi electrons, or two pairs of pi electrons. Since two is an even number, cyclobutadiene would not be aromatic. When we look at benzene, we see that it has six carbons that are all sp2 hybrid, and we have a total of six pi electrons. Those six pi electrons are essentially three pairs of pi electrons, and since we have an odd number of pairs of electrons, benzene would be aromatic. We could also draw an eight-membered ring with alternating single and double bonds. This one would not be aromatic because it has eight pi electrons, or four pairs of pi electrons, and since four is an even number, this molecule would not be aromatic. We could also look at cyclopentadiene and its positive and negative anion derivatives. Cyclopentadiene itself would not be aromatic because one of the carbons in the ring is sp3 hybridized instead of sp2. The cation has all of its five carbons sp2 hybridized. However, we only have four pi electrons, or two pairs of pi electrons, and so since two is an even number, the cyclopentadiene cation is not aromatic. When we look at the anion of cyclopentadiene, we see that we do have six pi electrons. Since that's equivalent to three pairs of pi electrons, the cyclopentadiene anion would be aromatic. These other structures would also be aromatic. You might want to take some time to count the pi electrons and to confirm that they have an odd number of pairs of pi electrons. In all of the compounds we've seen previously, the aromatic compounds, and specifically the rings in the aromatic compounds, have been composed of carbons. However, there's another class of compounds known as aromatic heterocyclic compounds that are also aromatic. Heterocyclic compounds have one or more atoms in the ring that are not carbon. 
The most frequent non-carbon atoms in heterocyclic compounds are nitrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. The compounds shown below are aromatic heterocyclic compounds. Naming benzene derivatives can be quite complicated as there is a mixture of systems that are used. Some benzene derivatives are named by simply adding the word benzene to the name of the substituent. Examples of these would be bromobenzene, nitrobenzene, and ethylbenzene. However, other benzene derivatives have common names. Instead of calling this compound methylbenzene, it's known as toluene. We've already introduced the benzene derivative phenol, which has a hydroxyl group bonded to the benzene ring. Aniline has an amine group, an NH2 group, added to the benzene ring. Anisole has an OCH3 or methoxy group on the benzene ring. Styrene has a two carbon alkene bonded to the benzene ring. Benzaldehyde has an aldehyde functional group on the benzene ring. And benzoic acid has a carboxylic acid group on the benzene ring. We can also have benzene rings with two substituents attached. We can name these either by using numbers such as 1,2-dibromobenzene, or we could use prefixes to indicate the relative positions of the two substituents. We use the prefix ortho or simply an O in parentheses if the substituents are in the one and two positions relative to each other. We use the prefix meta or M in parentheses if the two substituents are in the one and three positions relative to each other. We use the prefix para or P in parentheses if the two substituents are in the first and fourth carbon positions relative to each other. This compound could be named 1,2-dibromobenzene, or it could be named ortho-dibromobenzene, or even more simply, we could name it simply O-dibromobenzene. All three of these names would be equivalent, and people would understand any of these three names that you chose to use. For this molecule, we could name it 1-bromo-3-nitrobenzene, or we could name it meta-bromo-nitrobenzene. If one substituent is part of a common name, we can use that substituent in the first position and name the compound as a substituent with a common name. In this first example, we would assume that the hydroxyl group is part of the common name phenol, and so we would name the compound 4-ethylphenol or paraethylphenol. This second example, we would assume that the NH2 group is part of the common name aniline, and the nitro is a substituent, so we would name this compound 3-nitroaniline or meta-nitroaniline. Now that we've looked at what aromaticity is, and we've examined how to name benzene and some of its derivatives, we should move on to understanding something about the types of reactions that benzene and its derivatives will undergo. Even though benzene has alternating single double bonds in the way we typically draw the molecule, it's important to remember that those alternating single and double bonds are actually delocalized electrons, and those pi electrons are evenly spread around the ring. What this means is that benzene and its derivatives will not undergo the usual addition reactions that the alkene compounds underwent. Instead, benzene and its derivatives undergo types of reactions that go by the name of electrophilic 
aromatic substitution, which is sometimes abbreviated EAS reactions. In these EAS reactions, benzene acting as a nucleophile reacts with some electrophile and this forms a carbocation. After the carbocation is formed, a base in the reaction removes one of the hydrogens from benzene, which reestablishes the benzene pi aromaticity. These reactions are called substitution reactions because instead of adding two atoms across a double bond, like in the addition reactions of alkenes, instead we are making a substitution of an electrophile Y for one of the hydrogens on the benzene ring. Let's look at the mechanism for electrophilic aromatic substitution in a little more detail. The first step is similar to electrophilic addition in that one of the pi bond breaks and, f and those electrons are donated to the electrophile. In addition, a carbocation on the ring is formed. That carbocation intermediate can then go one of two directions. If it acted like an addition reaction like the alkenes, the base, which has a pair of electrons, would donate those electrons to the carbocation to form the addition product. However, if you look at the addition product, you see that it is no longer aromatic. It does not have the six delocalized pi electrons anymore. Since it's not aromatic, it's a less stable product. An alternative pathway for the carbocation intermediate is to have a substitution take place instead of an addition. In that case, the anion Z minus with its pair of electrons donates that pair of electrons to the hydrogen that is on the same carbon as the electrophile Y. That removes the hydrogen from the ring and it reestablishes the aromatic ring, which is more stable than the other alternative addition product. Because the aromatic ring is much more stable, electrophilic aromatic substitution products will always be the product instead of alkene addition products when we have a benzene ring or its derivatives involved in the reaction.